Hello everybody, I hope you're doing absolutely goddamn amazing today. So, it's an, it's the first day of uh, a new month, it's the first day of spooky month, it's the first day of October. So, happy October everybody! So, these, the shop in San Luis City just got a reset. Which means that we have all of these goodies back and a lot of people that, you you know, may be new to the game, maybe new to gacha games in general, might be looking at all of these like, oh, what do I buy? So I thought, hey! Let's put together a little bit of a list. What should you spend? You, what should you spend your hard-earned resource on in the fading signal shop? Now you get the resource to use here is called fading signal, and you get these by doing pulls. So this is this is gonna be like a resource that you know whales or dolphins, you know people that spend a lot of money on the game, they're gonna have a lot of these fading signals. Meanwhile, if you're free to play. Uh, you're not gonna have so much and you like you're gonna have to you know be very careful with what you use them on at the very bare minimum you want to be able to buy both of these both of the encrypted monster tape and and the monster tape you can buy five of these every every month and they rack up to a total of 900 uh you know fading signals which even if you're free to play but you play every day like you will have that so those are like you know priority one getting the getting the summons after that we're left with some things in the shop now you will notice that you have two dennis here you have this danny and you have this danny here one is limited to 80 a month meanwhile this is unlimited now there is a difference and this only becomes available after you've exhausted the first one. So this cost 15 fading signals for uh, 6,000 dennis. Now this is the, in my opinion, the second most worthwhile resource we can get in this shop because dennis are, you know, a universal uh, resource that we need for almost everything, and it gets expensive later on in the game. So I'm going to be purchasing the limited dennis that gave me almost half a million dennis. After that, we see that another Denny becomes available, but at a significantly higher price. So instead of, you know, 15 for one stack, now it's 30, 30 for one stack. So, you know, that half a million would, have cost, would now cost me double the amount of uh, fading signals that the first one did. So, priority one... The encrypted monster tapes and the monster tapes, which you know is your pulls. After that, the limited Dennis. After that, it becomes a little bit of uh, like you know up to you. What do you need? Are you severely lacking? You know stuff to level up your W engines. Like this is not a bad deal. Do you need more things to level up your characters? Which, let's be honest, I kind of always do. So I like the of in official investigator logs. So I'm going to be buying those. Uh, the crystallized plating in is obviously used to you know, upgrade uh, our disc sets. I like those as well. And we're left with a lot of like, you know, advanced eater ship, like, you know, all of the all of the different ships for different characters. So you have to think, what character am I leveling? Do I need this for anything? And we do have Bernice coming out very freaking soon. So I'm actually going to go ahead and buy these advanced burn ships. Now I'm not free to play. That's why I, you know I have I have some of these resources. But priority one, always get, always make sure that at the very bare minimum you get the monster tape, you get the encrypted monster tape. After that, I would suggest the limited amount of Dennis because you know that's kind of good value for how much they cost. Uh, and then it kind of becomes a case to case scenario. Like everything is good. I would say, like, unless you're a spender, spray, stay away from the extra, you know, denny that comes up because this is at a, you know, quite a terrible rate. And if you're a small spender, maybe it's better to wait until it, you know, hits over again, then you can purchase the limited dennis again. You also do what you want with your resources, but everything is kind of, a, you know, a similar value. It all depends on what characters do you have, what characters do you need to build, what resource are you lacking. So I think I'm gonna stop myself there. I've 37 of these. Now I'm gonna do like this. Now I don't really super much have a, a character that I need to build with any of these ships that are left. I still have some fading signal left, so if I just, you know, leave it be now, 
that's gonna be you know completely freaking fine so anyways that's kind of how my reasoning in how my reasoning is in the fading signal shop and i hope i could help somebody out uh, by make this, making this little video if you found it helpful feel super free to leave a thumbs up and I'm subscribed to the channel i put out sendless content every goddamn day and i would love to have you but until next time hawk out